Oh yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Thunder. Welcome to the Stadium of Doom. And we're going to be playing a little free-for-all here today. Uh, one of my favorite game modes. Uh, I'm, I got my try-hard panties on this match. I'm using the Kipparis. And uh, contrary to popular belief, everyone, every time I play this game, I don't, like, try. I know you guys, some of you guys out there might know what I'm talking about, but sometimes I'll just come out here and fuck around and do stupid shit. And other times I come out here and I'm looking to destroy everybody, like, right now. So yeah, I'm definitely in try-hard mode in this game, which is bad news for everyone else in the lobby. Uh, I'm using Ninja Pro, because nothing says skill like the ability to sneak up on everyone for kills. Uh, I'm also using Scavenger, my favorite uh, tier 1 perk, just because uh, any perk that's going to give me extra bullets and extra grenades and stun grenades, yeah, that's a, that's a good perk. <laughs> I am definitely down with some Scavenger, and uh, let's see, what do I want to talk about today, guys? Oh, wait a minute, didn't a game come out today? Crisis 2, and you know what? I was thinking about buying it. Until I read my boy uh, Sweat's review, and I'm going to put the link to that video in the description. Go check it out if you guys want to know if you should buy Crisis 2. And if you don't know what Crisis 2 is, and uh, <laughs> Crisis 2 is a new first-person shooter that came out. Because uh, you guys all know that the first-person shooter uh, genre is blazing hot! Black Ops, 14 million copies sold! <laughs> 14 million copies sold, Black Ops. So the first-person shooter genre is on fire right now. Everyone's playing first-person shooters. And uh, so I was talking to Sweat today. And wait, hold on. Before I get into that, check this out. So I pick up my SR, right? <laughs> now, I'm in the corner. This guy's coming around. Easy kill, right? Cle clearly outplayed. I, I take him out. Some other guy's going to come and share in his fate, right? He's coming around the corner. I'm ADSing. I shoot him, but what? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I was ra You people wonder why I rage so hard when I play Black Ops. I was raging so hard when I died right there. <laughs> How the fuck did I die, man? Uh, whatever, whatever. So, <laughs> shake it off, Thunder. Shake it off. And I do get pissed when I play this game, dude. This game drives me absolutely crazy. We, but then again, we all know this. I'm sure it drives you guys crazy as well. So, you guys know what I'm talking about. But anyway, back back to my uh, review about Crisis 2. Uh, sweats review video. Uh, apparently, there's a, a perk in Crisis 2 that's even worse. Actually, it's not even a perk. It's something everyone has. It's part of your suit, I guess. You have an ability to turn completely invisible. That's like worse than Ghost. You think Ghost is bad just not showing up on the UAV? How about not showing up, period? So, you've got an ability to turn your suit of armor completely invisible. And Sweat even said in this video that it makes him rage hardcore. And Sweat is like, you know, he's a, from what I know of him, he's a pretty uh, stable guy. He's not a, you know, a basket case like yours truly over here. So, me, I mean, my emotions get like... Like, out of control, dude. Like, I, I, I take shit too far. <laughs> so, I mean, I, if, if it's going to make a guy like Sweat Rage, I can only imagine the holes in the drywall your boy Thunder would have playing Crisis 2. With all the people, you know, running around. Plus, you could have silent footsteps in Crisis 2. So, yeah, the ability to have silent footsteps and be completely invisible. I mean, uh, what says skill better than that, right, guys? I mean, that is the great equalizer. Total and complete sensory deprivation in first-person shooters. The developers are doing everything they can to level the playing field. Uh, keeping people like you and me from destroying the new people to this uh, genre. Which is unfortunate, man. Because, I mean, when I first played Call of Duty 4, I was getting destroyed. I sucked. I didn't quit. I kept coming back. Kept trying to get better. And, you know, I mean, I'm definitely not the greatest player out there. But, I mean, I'm pretty decent. I can hold my own, as you guys are seeing right here. And, uh... Oh, headshot, baby. So, yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm going to buy Crisis 2, guys. I mean, I still might, but I don't think it would be too good for my blood pressure. <laughs> and, whoa, I'm lucky this guy didn't panic knife me. And I pick up my dogs. And I'm going to call these Cujos in. And check out my man right here. So, he tries to panic knife. That's his first instinct. It's his first instinct is to knife. You ever notice that? When you shoot a bad player, and this guy is terrible. No offense, Scary Monkey, but, yeah. <laughs> so I think his KD was like .7. I, I looked it up after the match. He was really bad. Seems like bad players' first instinct is to knife only. The first thing they think of doing. <laughs> there goes the RCXD, and I get a nice triple kill feed. I always like getting triple kill feeds and triple kills and free-for-alls. It's pretty sweet. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, so Crisis 2, man. You could turn completely invisible, and there's dead silence in that game. Ninja, you can run around, make no sound, and no one can hear you. <laughs> Sounds like a must-buy, doesn't it? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I, I love using this Kippers too, man. If this Kippers had a 30-round clip like the 74 you did, uh, you'd be seeing a shitload of people using this Kippers more. And I think I was using it with the grip this match. So there you go, guys. Uh, your boy Thunder 30-2. and two. 
pretty quick uh, gameplay here. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so let me know what you guys think, man. What do you guys think of Crisis 2? Should I go out and buy it? Do you think it would make me rage, guys? Be honest with me, man. Don't just say, yeah, Thunder, go out and buy it just to fuck with me and just have me rage and laugh at me while I'm up here uploading videos. Like, look at this motherfucker running around with Ninja and, and he's invisible. I can't hear him. I can't see him. This is bullshit. So, so let me know what you guys think, man. Should I go out and get Crisis 2? I didn't play the demo, unfortunately, even though I should have, but... I don't know. Maybe I'll buy Crisis 2. It all depends on what you guys want. If you guys want me to go out and get it, I will. So let me know. All right, everybody. It's Boy Thunder. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.